I tried something tiny. <laughs> oh God. Hey guys, I'm Rod the Fox and welcome back to Crossout. And that's a nice way to introduce the video. Now it looks like there's no events going on. So after a long while of doing them, we're going to be heading into standard battle and getting some resources that we need for the cheetah. Now if I remember, all we need is wires and plastic. Make the wires copper and plastic. Oh, this is how you uh, get new co-drivers i honestly didn't know that oh and we get copper in this one. Oh, that's gonna be nice but i'm gonna go after wires since that one is going to be a bit more difficult to get and looks like we get intelligence and all of this stuff so that's quite nice well here we are in a salted ship graveyard settlement and a driver of bed let's get them all and just end this let's do this Let's go. Oh. That's a ramp. Whoa. <laughs> Damn it. Quick say, can I stop ramming in the magnet for God's sake? Oh. Okay. Oh, what the? Where the hell did he come from? He must have been cloaked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess that answers my question. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That guy kind of came out of nowhere, and by the time I realized that he was there, he was already embedded into my side. And. Yeah, a couple se and then a couple seconds later, I, uh, I, can't move. I lost my whole right side set of wheels. Can't freak you guys. Miss Magnum Seven with a Hulk and a little boy. His uh, Paramel with dual mi Millers and an orange seal. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, nice one, Magnum. Nice one. Oh. So apparently you can use co drivers on this. Oh, just for the good and bad thing. <laughs> Goodbye. That's both good and a bad thing. Because I we can get a damage buff. So can they. And it's not looking particularly good, given the fact that our base is literally being captured right now. And our last guy just got turned Let's get out of here. into a pile of scrap metal. No pun intended, since we literally make our cars out of scrap metal, but still. I'll have a look around and see if there's anyone out here. I heard someone's engine next to me, but I didn't get a chance to see them. Alright, here we are heading into the second match, and this time we're assault back on ship graveyard. Let's get this going. It's not seem nice to uh, head back into uh, one of these uh, more normal missions, uh, especially after doing so many friggin' special events. That was... wow. Yeah, I don't think Yuzu is gonna be a good one for this. Because given how many people's around, we accidentally target the wrong per person. Jesus! Mom, nice to know not what freaking got us. The crazy ass freaking chainsaw. Who is craziest of Adam with dual auroras and a DT Cobra? I thought that helmet had cat ears. Here's Abigail with, well, head dual triggers. Pretty weaponless now. Okay. 
Okay, I I I can't. I should have figured that the Aurora was one of the uh, overheating type weapons. Especially given the fact that it literally shoots out flaming bullets, so making it a ammo limited type wouldn't exactly make much sense. I literally just went out to the door and this happened. Alright, here we are heading into the third match of today. And this time we're at Domination, a chemical plant, a banded mineral fertilizer plant. Let's get this girl one. Yes, on the right breaks in the middle, don't forget. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Jesus. I'm bringing this stuff to. Freaking God damn it! Bad guys knocking on our doors. Let's flush them out. Man, this is just like capture point in Robocraft, except Robocraft's one and capture point is a bit better because you come back when you die. I really don't like the whole permadeath death thing. That kind of annoys me. Which is why I'm not a big a, a big fan of elimination in that game. And why I love events that allow you to respawn. Yes, there needs to be more stuff like that. I think that'll honestly make me like this game more because I, I just love participating in battles and kicking all types of ass. Oh shit. Uh, okay. A point's being captured, but B B's being contested. Sorry. Oh, it's freaking Adam. God damn you. Oh, God damn it. Uh, nope. Damn it. I should have set it off earlier. Is that what I was thinking I was doing? I was like, nah, I'm gonna wait until I actually lose the weapon so I don't I lose it for no reason. Apparently that's exactly what I should have done. That was indeed fast. Yeah, no kidding. But we are getting wires, so bad. Something is better than nothing. How many times have I said that phrase now? Honestly, I lost count. Uh, guys, you are heading to the fourth match of today in the summer assault at Control 17 station. No heroics, boys. Former radio relay station. Alright, let's move. Let's move out. Oh. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> you gotta be. Oh, that's a bot. Oh, that, that's. Yep. I'll show you something tiny. I'll show you something tiny! Mom, they got him, so. Yeah. God damn the drones! Yeah, another one. <laughs> yeah me and Kush not just completely just right each other in the face. Oh frick! Well, oh, he's getting smashed. And so am I. Yeah, goodbye. I haven't gotten a single freaking kill yet. What gives? Yeah, I might have to switch out of the patrol driver. I don't want to, but I might have to. Because the close range. That looks, that looks cool. Because the close range nature of Yuzu may not work in this case. I mean, she's perfect. Uh, for the last event that we did, and for the type of where we use the crickets. 
and we were able to get in that close range. But I don't think it'll work out that well in this case. Because a lot of people are going to be enraged. The only people that's going to be out close are anybody that's clothed with friggin' melee weapons. Well, we're almost halfway there with Warriors for the Cheetah. Alright guys, so we're heading to the fifth match of today and this time we're counter Sector EX. Unfinished mill. Okay. Iron Rectum. Uh, the side process that people used to come with these names. Oh my god. I, I'm not saying like... I don't mean to call down other people's names, it's just... Some of the names are rather interesting to say the least. Oh my god. You're gonna enjoy this! At least... Whoa, whoa, yeah he's on fire. He's running with dual war wings and a P1 char PU1 charge. Here is Browse Brocken with triple M38 fidgets and dual. What the frick? Orange <laughs> Seals. I assume that's probably a guy that just died given the abrupt um, radio cutoff. Oh, he's using the really cool uh, Ravager-esque wheels. I really do like those wheels. Because, that, like, the general I design of them is cool, but the fact that the uh, the, uh, that the fins on them expand when you go faster is really cool, but I don't see them expanding on this one. It's kind of weird. He's Max GT with a Chibico and a Bora. Bora. I said Bora really weird there. Wow. The poor dude got up right obliterated. I don't think anybody's taking prisoners today, Jesus. Okay, guys, so we're heading into the sixth match of today, and this time we're assault back on ship graveyard, settlement in a driver for bed. Let's get this going. Alright, guys, focus. Let's send them straight to hell. Yes. Enemy in sight. Stay alert, everyone. The thing is, I'm not quite sure what uh Code driver would actually work in this because I I'm using a ranged weapon. Like a lot, of, I most of the people here. That's why you should pay attention to the to the uh, warning siren, there, dude. Where's Polo uh, Koyan with? With a Hulk and dual trombones. He's fat, right? With a M38 fidget and dual M37 piercers. Good god. We want a bullet storm. Let's go further. Wait, fat, right? Didn't we already see a fat, right? Oh, oh no, that was, um... Oh, Paulo, Paulo, okay. This is Alyssa with dual junk bows and a gas gen. That looks like, uh... They're not, uh... Doing too hot. Let's see how, uh... Paulo's doing here. Doing pretty good. I mean, they're almost dead, but... I mean, they're still kicking ass. Oh, 
I'd love some guided missiles. I really, really would. Oh, I thought that was the cap that had the uh, spinning red light in it. Goodbye. Oh, we almost got the base caught. Sweet. Even, even if we win by a base cap, I'm not going to complain. Because I'm never going to complain over victory. So honestly, I'll be crazy to do so. He just died. Oh. Unless he just died. <laughs> nice ran. I oh, got damn it, I forgot I was died. That's one thing I'd love to be able to do, like, have the ability to send emotes after you died. I mean, sure, yes, it makes sense in a logical standpoint that you literally can't do anything when you're dead, but it also doesn't make any sense that you can't cheer your teammates on with the emotes. Alright guys, you are heading into the sixth match of today, this time we're on a counter on... What's the seventh? Oh, it's counter broken and we're on a bandit space port to... Speed. Spaceport and the desert. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, this is the seventh match, not the sixth. Oh, frat rats are in here again. Pipes on our side. Oh, Apollo's in here. Sergi's in here. They're an infinite, infamous spot. That wasn't bad. How's that for a tiny one, dude? Oh, Jesus! Whoa! This is a... This is a death for me. Yep. Wow! They were waiting for us. All they had to do was just... <laughs> Poor Ether is just a cap. All the all the enemy team had to do is just come right to that tunnel and they, they and swarm us. And that's literally what they did. It was Paul with a Sumatra and a PU1 charge. So here's Fat Rat with the uh, dual hulks. Polo here with the dual Yelgui and a hot red. I said red weirdly there. I don't know what the hell is up with me tonight. I'm seeing stuff weird. Come on, I usually do. Is that? Is that the hot red? Yeah, that that's the hot red there. No more running for that one. So that one has a special ability? I honestly don't remember if I read about that or not. We're being hit. Yeah, that's definitely the hot red there. No yeah, it is. Enemy on the base. It is cool though that the ability gives like a backfiring effect. <laughs> nope. Goodbye. Alright guys, we are heading into the to the eighth mansion train this time we're counting action ring uh, an old particle accelerator. It's the enemy vehicles we want. Let's get them. I see the enemy. Be careful. I thought uh, Bore Lane's I'm on the point. vehicle was backwards on. there for a moment. So I thought the back was the front. No, you know. No, you don't. Well, he's weaponless, so he ain't gonna bother anybody. God, I wish my aim was better. 
Oi! So Alec and uh, the other one that was shot, was it Ethan? Stop it. Have the same build. Jesus. I certainly made use that enemy for cover. Apparently, um, Caravan didn't want me to. With Oliver with dual STM23 defenders and a gas gen. His Samantha with dual triggers and a cheetah. Ooh, cheetah has a special ability. Good, yes. So, because that's the engine we're going for. His pipe. Turn turtle. His sto uh, zone heart. I should say, not stone heart. But a hot red and a flywheel. And it's another defeat. Yep. We're getting out to the swords pretty quickly though because we got 120 out of 200. Alright guys, so we're heading into the ninth match of today. This time we're the Sultan Power Plant, the last haven of Knight Riders. I've had enough sitting around. Let's roll. This must be a nuclear power plant. So I can tell from the uh, the, f the uh, chimney over here. What's it, chim? Yeah, this is nuclear. Interesting. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, who got no wheels? I'm certain the guy I'm fighting still has wheels. I'm just somebody else. God damn it. Dual friggin' Millers, of course. Where's Jacob? Oh my god. Are you serious right now? The base is empty? <laughs> yep. Alright, guys, you are heading into the 10th match of today. And this time we're at Counter on Clean Island, an island where a scientific complex of Don's children. Wait. Where the hell is everybody going? No sleeping. Enemy on the base. Jesus! Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> that was unenthusiastic. Really? I will smash the pipes. Oops. We're taking losses. I repeat, we're taking losses. Oh god, I'm not going out my free gap mess. I'm lis I'm literally missing half me wheels. And so I'm kinda drifting all over the place. One enemy down. Here we go. I owe you. Here we go. Come on, God damn it. Of course, use my own weapon against me. Where is pipe with do dual do young voice and a heart raid? His angel Pappy what? Oh Angel Pappy Crack 3. Man to the fidget and a, and dual M37 piercers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Wow. That was what, 3 gets 1? That was a valiant effort. I'm not gonna lie. 
Hype, we don't have a chance. We don't have a chance. Yeah, especially not now. Since I heard that sound going off. Indeed, we will. Alright guys, here we are heading into what could be the last match of today in the summer of domination. Forward. Follow me, guys. At Ravager's Foothold, the place of an experiment left under the supervision of a mad scientist. AKA the map that we once... I believe it's the same map that we had the Halloween event there a couple years ago. The base is under attack. I think. I know it wasn't last year's one because that one was a pumpkin hunt on a um, uh, on a different map. So remember, there was three different types of liquids. I believe there was acid. We're losing ground, people. It was green, red, and blue. I think. Oh, Goodbye. Well then, yeah, Jesus, that's cool how like the radio chatter also echoes. God damn it. it, it almost sounds like that we're hearing like, um, I, someone's like talking through a mic like live on a stage. So it's a cool effect. I think more than just one of ours is down. To be fair. It's bo uh, oh, it's Angelo again with the M30 fidgets and the dual piercers. Here's uh, Slow Peak with the Prometheus. And. Wow, we got Lotus thrown into a blender. That was painful. This isn't, though. Alright, guys. Here we are heading into the final match of today in this summer encounter an old town, ruined temple, and an old town. First contact. This is a very, very Wall of Tanks-esque city. And I think this is the same map that we actually had, like the, the uh, tanks event. And I think that's the same video that I literally titled uh, World of Tanks and Crossout. Hope you get your ass ground off. <laughs> there we go. There's a nice start. The more of that will be pleasant. Oops. Sorry. Oh god. Okay. Ah, Jesus. Really? Not one of those hit. There. Well, he's on fire. Oh, freak. And I lost him. My one. God damn it. Keep him pinned. There we go. Two left. One left. Uh, not anymore. Good lord. That was a lovely way to end off a video. And speaking of ending off videos, that's going to do for this time, guys. So cross out the like button if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, ring a bell if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Ooh. Man, it's honestly nice being back in normal missions again. While it's fun doing all those special quests, there's still something about going into a standard mission and just getting resources. Because, I mean, the special events, don't get me wrong, the fun is all hell, but with the standard missions like these, you do get a lot more stuff for new things that you want. And I just realized something. That new engine is a bit bigger than the one that we got. I believe it's um, 4x4 
square. And the one we got now is a 2x4. So yeah, we're going to need to find some extra space for it. And I don't think... Yeah, we don't exactly have a lot of room in the back. So I'm going to have to probably redesign this a little bit. So we still have everything properly armored. I still honestly can't wait to get that new engine. Ooh, that's honestly going to be a lot of fun.